Hey everybody, this is a Palmer Hugger, um, and this is one that I picked up along with that SMC Emperor that I filmed last. I think I mentioned that, this, uh, that came with these, um, but this is one of two, um, and this is the, actually, this is the one that's in better condition. Um, the other one I think was used outside along with that Emperor, um, and it's just completely filthy. I just haven't had a chance to clean it. I also can't test it right now because the mounting bracket and motor housing are currently fused together. I have not been able to get them unstuck from each other, so I, until I get those unstuck, I'm not going to be able to test that one. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to get that fixed and um, get the other one hung up sometime in the future. Um, but the other one is identical to this one, so they're basically the exact same fan. So if I can't, it's no big loss. Um, so this one is essentially a Hugger version of the Hugger Deluxe model that I've filmed in the past before, which is the, uh, the close mount GE vent version that has a close mount canopy and a traditional GE vent motor housing. Um, but this is essentially like the regular generic traditional Hugger style version of that. I don't know what the model number or the model name of these are. Um, the model number, actually, let me get the other one here. The model number is HSC-652 and they're both dated 1985 so or at least they're la the, the label says 1985 so I'm assuming that's a date code. Um, I won't be able to show you the label for this particular one because it's on the other side of the mounting bracket up against the ceiling but I will show you the label on the other one. Um, so it's got generic, it's very generic styled uh, hugger ceiling fan, um, four blades, antique brass, generic cane. The cane is slightly bigger than a more generic hugger would be, I think, like the one in my grandma's bedroom. The cane starts almost halfway up the blade. Um, and it didn't come with a globe when I got it, so I put that nice low profile schoolhouse globe on it, which I really like. Um, so I'll turn the light kit on for you. Hopefully it'll go on. Yeah, I was having issues with that pull chain. It was doing the same thing that the pull chain in the Emperor's light kit did actually, where it would like, it wouldn't go on sometimes, but it seems like it's working now. So this string pull chain extension is original to the fan at least when I got it. I had it and then I added this one on for the fan. So, um, now one thing before I start the fan up I will say is this one's motor is a fair bit smaller than the um, the one in the Hugger Deluxe, both the cane and the stencil bladed one that I have, or that I uh, did videos of because I don't have those cane ones anymore. Um, but the motor is about like, a, I'd say probably like half the size of those, maybe not quite half the size, but like it's, it's a, a fair bit smaller than those. So um, that being said, Go ahead and turn the fan on high. And you can clearly see this fan is spinning quite fast actually. I first powered this up the first time, probably like, not even like a half an hour ago, and I was just shocked because I'd seen how small the motor was before I mounted it up there, and I did not expect it to go this fast, so despite the unassuming looking motor, this thing is actually a very good performer, and I'm very impressed and very surprised, but pleasantly surprised. I did not expect this to be a powerhouse. But yeah, it flies, and it's silent as well. Okay. Medium. Yeah, the air movement is like almost stack motor category, I'd say. <laughs> Maybe I'm being a little too generous with that, but it is very powerful. At least for a hugger. So medium speed is nice and fast, which I guess you would want from a hugger because the airflow is going to be reduced anyway because of how close the blades are to the ceiling. The 
but this one's medium isn't that bad. Like it's fast, but it's not terribly fast. It's almost a good like medium high. Yeah. All right. Let's see what low does. Yeah, before I started filming, I had only tested it on high. And in forward, I hadn't tested it in reverse. So it's not that slow of a low, but it's, you know, it's okay. I would put it on a speed control, I think, if I were to install this. Although it is absolutely silent, 100%. Okay, I'm gonna put it back up to high. Alright, it's a pretty long spin down. Okay, let's flip it to reverse. And we'll start it on low. Finally high. It's making a little bit of noise. I think that's a globe. Yeah. So, this one is in pretty good condition, I'd say. It's got a, a little bit of paint up there on top of the motor housing. But other than that, I mean, it's a little dusty still. I have to clean it some more. So there's your light kit once again. Um, and you can see this one's motor is actually vented. Um, these have vented motors. I'm not sure why that is. The... Um, Hugger Deluxe doesn't, the motor on that one isn't vented, and I'm not sure if that might, that probably is like a slightly older design, um, I'm just guessing by the size difference because this one's so much smaller. Um, so I'll show you the other one really quickly, the other one is down here on the floor disassembled. You can see motor housing and mounting bracket are fused together, they are not coming apart no matter what I do. And here's the label, there should be another label right there that says palm air, but it's missing. Um, it's there on the other one, the one that's hanging up, but there's the model number information and uh, specs and everything, and then this is the caution information, and then you can see there is the motor, 
and you can see just how small this motor is. It's not large at all. And I'm just so surprised by the performance of this thing. Um, and then here's one of the blades from it. Um, now the other reason, the other thing that could be affecting it is this one's got really low hanging blade arms. A lot of other huggers, um, like the ones that I recently tested, the rigged housing one and that, um, well actually more the rigged housing one, Ancon Casanova had the same blade arms that kind of hung down really low like that, but that generic one with the ribbed sideband had like blade arms that really didn't hang that far down at all and I think these low hanging blade arms really do help to uh because they lower the blades just that that much further from the ceiling and allow um more airflow so I think that's a very good design um so yeah um, I think that is about it. I don't think there's anything else to say about this. It's a very generic... Whoa, I kicked the toolbox because it's open. I have, haven't done that in a few videos, and it's... I thought I wasn't going to do that anymore. But anyways, so yeah, I think that's about it for this video. Um, so yeah, it's the Palm Air Hugger. And perfect timing. People are deciding to walk around upstairs. So thank you for watching, and more to come.